And welcome to Pullman, Washington, the Pac-12 opener for both Oregon State and Washington State. The Cougars end up winning it by four. Greg Heister, Dan Dickow, and in the first half, Dan, it was Washington State. Their post game, their inside game was great. Yeah, they got off to a really nice start in a number of different ways, both throwing the ball to bigs in pick and roll situations, attacking the offensive glass, as well as T.J. Bamba, as you see, really attacking the rim himself. But neither team really found a groove and stayed in a groove throughout the game. It was kind of a choppy offensive game for both teams. Yeah, not a lot of rhythm offensively for Oregon State. They, uh, they struggled for a while in that first half before it was all said and done. They hit some threes to take a three-point lead at the half. Zach like Reichel did a nice job of making some plays late in that first half and early in the second. He made a big three late to make things really interesting. But at the end of the day, neither team shot well enough, and DJ Rodman made big plays throughout the second half. And he made big plays from behind the three-point line as we watch him charge the rim here, but really not a three-point shooter. They were going in. The Cougars hit five threes in the second half, the difference. Uh, DJ Rodman, three threes, all of them coming in the second half. Coach Kyle Smith told us heading into this season, they've got to find another weapon outside of Isaac Bonton to score the basketball. So far this season, they've had a surprise in each game of somebody stepping up and doing that. Tonight it was DJ Rodman. Waritha Alatiche played well for Oregon State. So did Zach Reichel. But in the end, it's Washington State who remains unbeaten. They're 3-0 with a 59-55 win.